To animate a photo, it's quite easy. There's a new app called Plotograph, which is available for iPhone or iPad. Just go to it, open it, add a photo. On the top line you see the photos, and in the bottom line you have some functions, like opening when you go to the plus sign of a photo from a camera roll. Add it. Then you have the photo. Um, what would be quite nice if it's if it would be possible to animate to uh, the path the woman is walking on, that it looks like a, a river, like a fro flowing water or something like that, or flowing street street path. Um, in order to achieve that, first you have to describe the area where you want to have the animation. This is uh, to be done with the anchor point. Just go to anchor. And then you can just use the finger and put tiny drops. You can also enlarge the photo. Put tiny dots along the path to be animated. This is not much work and it is fast. Uh, next step is that you don't want to have uh, the woman, woman animated. This can be achieved quite easily. We go to the masking tool, just make the masking dots smaller enlarge the image and just go along with your finger the outer figure of this person and just mask it. Masking means it will not be animated. So that's it. The masking. The next step is uh, animation. Uh, you just mark the area where you want to have the animation. Go to the further left button in, in, the, in the footer and go to animate and then Make it a little bit larger so you have more space to set your arrows. And then you will set with your finger small little arrows. You will begin and end. That will give the direction. You can get you can get set small arrows. That means slow animation. Or you can set longer arrows, which would mean um, faster animation. You can set it all along the area. It's not necessarily that they all go to the same direction, uh, depending on what you want to do. But here it's like the, the flow shall go to, from the left to the right corner of this path. And you can control it while pushing the button run in the footer. And you see a quite nice uh, example already. You can stop it. Uh, if you think it's too fast or too slow, you can go to the speed icon. And then you can set the speed, you can make it slower or faster. You see if it's going faster, uh, you will see a loop. What you What is animated is a short loop, which will be repeated over and over. And if it's too fast, you will see a little jump, which will look awkward and unnatural. So it's I advise you not to speed it too fast. And you can experiment with longer arrows or the speed function. Uh, that's it for this kind of animation. You can make it much more complex and it's very nice when you have some water or cloud parts and the clouds also can go in different directions. They can go also in a circle and the water can go to a different direction than the clouds. You just mark the area using the anchor buttons. That's it so far. Thank you very much. My name is Michael Jung.